Why is it that Hopi and Navajo, who are so close together, two indigenous people, can have such disputes? Why is it the Jews and Muslims, who are two indigenous people in the same area, can have such disputes? It's my privilege to welcome and to reintroduce you to my brother and uh, one of the leaders of the Muslim community here in Southern Oregon. And if you want to find out the true teachings of Islam, and uh, uh, Farouz is a great teacher and a great brother. Farouz, Pizzeria. When Jews and Muslims are killing each other, which I want to correct that, the true Jew and the true Muslim will not be killing each other. I want to thank you all for coming and ask God Almighty to bless this gathering that without his blessing, our gatherings will be happy. God, the source of all peace, the one who grants mercy for all humanity, so may we learn humanity. God who says, the one who forgives is the best of all. The best justice is in God's hand and we should relinquish that to him. And we should always surrender to him for the justice and for peace. We cannot bring peace to this earth by our hands, only by our surrender to his majesty. I'd like to thank you for coming to this sacred place, synagogue where God is worshiped. God alone is worshiped. My God is worshiped. And the true source of our unity is the source of unity for the whole universe, which is one God as Rabbi, my teacher, was speaking here. First of all, I want to clarify the fact that I'm not a Muslim minister. And I'm not a minister at all. I'm just a common brother in our community. So let that be corrected. I also want to uh, say a few words regarding the issue of peace and reconciliation, soha. And what I see as the problems within myself, which is attitude, which is the intoxicating attitude that comes from ourselves, that sometimes I look in the mirror and I think I'm better than anyone else, or I'm better or smarter, or be in any way that I can step above others or any other humanity whether the color of the skin, whether their gender, whether their creed, or their tribe, or their faith. So it's very critical, I think, to see within ourselves, to look in a mirror, and re recognize that it's the attitude that Satan fell from the grace of God because of his attitude. So it's very critical to be to shed ourselves of that attitude toward even our own selves, toward others. So I wanted to make this gathering as a place that I can confess myself and make promises, true promises from my heart to improve myself so we can go forward with less luggage and more Spice in my steps. <laughs> <laughs> May God Almighty bless this gathering, and uh, thank you for my brothers and sisters coming to this house, beautiful house of worship. Amen. Amen. Amen.